Hello, everyone. My name is Brody with MCFC, and I'm speaking with uh, Josh Bam Bam Henry. <laughs> How are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Just hanging out, enjoying my Sunday. Yep, enjoying your Sunday. You know, probably yeah. was it 70 degrees at, uh, in Iowa too? Just like Minnesota over here, it's it's warm. Yeah, it's beautiful here. Wind's going crazy. Yeah. So. Yep. That's a, I, it's a double edged sword. You know, the wind's bringing in the heat. I'm getting tossed. Yep. I throw in windshields for work, so I'm getting tossed around. <laughs> yeah. Constantly. Yeah, man, constantly. Wind's been crazy this week. Yeah. So you're going to be fighting uh, April 27th. Uh, how do you feel about that? And how do you feel about your opponent? Uh, I'm excited for both the competition and the opponent. Um, I haven't fought in a while. Been healing a, a injury from a past fight. And I got that all healed up. Now I'm ready to go after Bobby. So he's the next one standing in my way. And here we go. You know, you're, uh, you're a pro with quite a bit of experience on this card. You know, more than most people. Um, how do you feel that's going to transfer against a guy that also has a quite a bit of an experience? You know, uh, I've already, you know, I just asked, what do you feel about him? But being the, being at the marquee, the main event and stuff like that, well, what do you, how do you feel about the guy? You know, uh, I'm interested in the matchup. He's, you know, he comes out of the, uh, like you get shot out of a cannon right away. He's coming at you in your face, pushing the pace. I like that. Um, I haven't had a good fate of uh, good fight like that in a while. Um, last couple guys were standing bangers and taller guys. Um, Bobby's closer to my highs, so I'm a little excited about that part. Plus, it gives me a chance to kind of show off my wrestling, and I've been working back on my ground and pound, getting back to my roots, um, and just having fun and getting back into jiu-jitsu, enjoying that. So, I mean, to me, this fight, especially with him having the same amount of experience as me or just about, like, we're, we're going to come in ready to bang, throw fireworks. It's going to be a great fight for the crowd, great fight for the promotion. It's going to be it's going to be a fun one. It's going to be a banger. That's awesome. That's so good to hear. You know, you, you talk you talk more confident than a lot of the guys um, that I've been speaking with. And it makes sense, you know, all the experience and stuff like that. Yep. So I, I wrestled for a long time. It's, I was never that great to rest, a wrestler, but I came from a good wrestling room. What is it like to get back on the grind? Um, Jiu-jitsu practice, wrestling, you know, a lot of – the tippity top in the in the combat sports world, MMA and stuff. They the one thing they always complain about is wrestling, 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 wrestling. So how how's that been? Uh, been great. I've had a lot of I've had a few guys coming into the room, bringing uh, some high school champs, some collegiate guys that I knew um, from local around here, um, and just you know being in the middle for a half hour, forty five minutes, and letting them guys we just switch out and everybody just pushing the pace on me. So um, I enjoy, I enjoy wrestling. I enjoy the grind. I enjoy, you know, not taking much break. Just let's just go. Let's grind. Let's drill moves. Let's drill this and that. Let's uh, go live. Um, wrestling is something that I've done for a long time. So to me, I enjoy that part of it. Uh, I love getting nasty, you know, being a little crazy in the room, going, trying new moves, try just pushing the pace. And mm -hmm. it's going to be a fun one, man. I'm enjoying this time. Yep. I, when I started training jiu-jitsu again and they did uh, wrestling practice, it was so crazy how much I missed just being an asshole and rubbing my forehead against <laughs> another dude. And I, I I thought about that right away. I was like, man, I haven't done this in a long time. This is awesome. I've missed this. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a dickhead there when you get to push the pace and just kind of, you know, grind mm -hmm. on. You can but always I tell the, you can always tell the wrestlers from the jujitsu guys when it comes to, uh, re you know, wrestling practice, because they're wrestlers are just a tick meaner, just a little bit. <laughs> you know? A little bit. Yeah. 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 We got weird mindset you know we're a little different people people come from wrestling so mm -hmm. and it's it's funny you brought it up and i was actually gonna ask this exact question so uh bo nickel talked about it on the most recent uh jre or stuff like that but it's so crazy for mma fighters to get like the tippity top wrestling they have to go to like high school rooms college you know they're getting grown men or getting you know uh, beat up as you know beat up and you know in quotes but not a lot of people could uh, have you know i don't know uh the wherewithal i don't even know a lot, a lot of people can't take a, getting beat up by a kid that's in high school so what is it like you know sharpening the sharpening your iron against you know an 18 year old a 19 year old being a you know a little bit older to me if i can last with the dude who's 18 you know 8 17 18 19 20 21 them guys have been coming in if i can hang out and go the full 45 minutes to an hour or so with them and not have to quit and sometimes making them quit before me I like that part of it. Yeah, they're young, but they all, you know, they got all the energy. Mm -hmm. um, they aren't worn out. They haven't messed up different joints on their body. They haven't done all this stuff that, you know, kind of me, you know, I'm I'm still young, but I'm still 34, you know, so I got quite a years on me and 
having these young cats come in who aren't dealing with some of the crap I am and I'm still able to last or make them break, mm -hmm. that part makes me feel good. I enjoy that part, not going to lie. I can, how can you not? I mean, you're, it's, you're probably the biggest smile of the whole interview right there. You're like, yep, that's really fun, beating young kids yeah. up. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, not when you say it quite like that. But yeah, yeah, there you go, yeah. They, no. can, they can push the pace on me. They've got all the energy they've got. But I got the old man tricks. You know, they mm -hmm. can keep pace, but I know little tips and tricks that they haven't even heard of yet. So mm -hmm. it's kind of way. Yeah, old man strength in wrestling. There was always that the occasional guy in the room and stuff like that when you just he would just grab on you and all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, we're in the same weight class. And you gotta have, you know, he's got one hand, you, you gotta use two hands to get rid of his one. You're like, this is ridiculous. We just mm -hmm. had a last week. He's 21, you know, but he's been helping our local wrestling team who they mm -hmm. went to pretty good team and he's been helping them. And he came into the room and man, as soon as the first match, we both kind of stood up and we're like, Well, this is how it's gonna go. All right, you tough little <laughs> mother, you know. Yeah. <laughs> grabbed on me and started shooting for shots like all right here's a here's a rocket dude he's coming after me so here we go yeah the first minute first minute yeah. you can tell like, okay yeah first 10 15 seconds i knew i was in for a good match here so that's awesome so i, I never i you know the i i have been playing decisions but in wrestling what is it like to you know you're talking about wrestling all the time what is it like to grapple somebody for 15 or 25 minutes in a you know in a combat form like i've never done anything close to that I, I talk, I try to put it in perspective to people that, you know, will talk bad about MMA, like, oh, they're just hugging and stuff like that. T try to put it in perspective for people like wrestling for 25 or 15 minutes straight. You know, you get a minute break in between, but still 15 minutes. It's, you gotta, it's a different cardio, but it's also just adjusting to having your diaphragm smash that long. You mm -hmm. know, because you're bent over, you're in weird positions, you're not able to expand your lungs, you're not able to fully rest, let your body chill. I think that's probably the hardest part of being busy for 15 minutes that you got to get used to is mm -hmm. you, you don't have to operate on a full breath. You got to be able to operate in them tight little areas, um, grappling, um, grappling with then adding wrestling and submissions, you know, like every now and then you're choking somebody out. You got to be wary of your arm strength or going for arm bars or you're getting choked out a little bit. So you got to be able to find ways to breathe and hang on and, there's the people who complain about the hugging, I think, don't understand the little things that are going on in those matches. Mm -hmm. You know, if you pay attention to hand fighting, foot fighting, grinding on somebody or setting up submissions that you may be not going for that submission till six moves later, but you're starting the progression for it. That's what some people don't understand. And I, I love that part of it. It's the chess game. It's the minute movements, the little mini parts of it that wow. you got to get good. Mm -hmm. Chess, not checkers. Yes, yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes all the sense in the world. I, I one time I was in I, my first UFC event. I was in UFC Chicago. I had a couple beers in me, and a dad and his two sons were all done with the event. And all of a sudden, I hear Daniel Cormier's a pussy, and I was just like, oh, it just it almost it almost threw me. I was like, what? Like our Olympic team captain, you're calling that? Like that's just rude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's just people, you know, they're keyboard warriors, or yep. they fans think they know what it's like, or mm -hmm. one. 10 years ago they got in a bar fight so they understand fighting it's you know i i usually let that shit just go in one ear and out the other year i've mm -hmm. heard it so many times just yeah yep. but they're not in the cage they're not the ones taking the lumps they're not the ones going in the training the mm -hmm. and 12 week training camps prior to fights they're not going through all that mm -hmm. yeah, we are so yep. they can pussy all they want but i'd like to see that dude say that to daniel cormier's face and see how well that works out for him yeah that'd be, <laughs> that'd be a fun time maybe oh, it, a classic little trip, push him and trip him. You know, his yeah. little like ankle trips he does all the time. Yeah, launch him. Yep. I still think of that Hendo one and just how I remember watching it live. Like he's doing, like Daniel Cormier is ragdolling Henderson, Dan Henderson. Yeah. What just two, two crazy Titans in the sport right there going at it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I brought up wrestling a lot. Um, and I, not a lot of people have, you know, uh, experience cutting weight just in general but now you're cutting weight and getting into a fight was it like you know coming from a wrestling background to probably you know when you were a kid probably not doing the best weight cut in the world if you were doing it at all and then now being a you know a combat sports athlete and MMA fighter what's the difference and uh yeah how do you feel about that to me I learned how my body responded to everything you know in your early 20s you can you can probably do a weight cut in two three four weeks mm -hmm. and kill yourself too bad you're younger you can handle that 
being 34, I, you know, if I'm going down 30 pounds, 25, 30 pounds, I'm starting six to eight weeks out. Like I already started my cut, my dieting, my clean eating. Mm -hmm. I've started about a week and a half ago getting ready for Bobby. So I'm already into it. Um, I think to me, the worst part is the cravings. You know, I still love pizza, but I ain't going to eat that until after that fight. That's my mm -hmm. reward. But for me, cutting the weight and the older we get and the more experience you get, you got to learn how your body responds. Not everybody's body is the same. Some people can do certain water cuts. Some people can do, like to me, I, I do, I like fasting and eating certain things and drinking plenty of water and doing certain training aspects. And it all works for me to get down and be healthy and have energy and still be able to fight and not suck down the night, you know, trying to make my weight. I'm still pretty good, pretty energetic. Mm -hmm. But you got to get an education on yourself and find what works, man. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, one of the weirdest ones I heard recently, uh, Ilya Taporia, the guy that knocked out Volk, he said he drinks wine the day a couple of days before. Yeah, I don't. I can't do that. I can't. Yeah, I was like, well, what? And then he goes, ah, it helps a little bit. He does it the night before, and then it's kind of like the last two pounds the day before, and it kind of just dehydrates him a little bit more. And then he's like, well, I feel good. But he's also from Spain, so I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Where like that might work on his body. That's an education he learned for himself, and yep. it, that education would not work for me. I'll tell you that. Yeah, well, it didn't work for Paulo Costa. He tried drinking a shit ton of wine before, and that didn't work. <laughs> oh, yeah, it didn't. <laughs> yep. All of a sudden, I was like, oh, yeah, who was the other guy? Oh, yeah, duh, Paulo. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I forgot about that. Crazy, crazy sport, especially MMA-wise. Somebody said to me a long time ago um, that combat sports is soap opera for men, and it's so true. <laughs> that's a pretty awesome way to explain it i will say that yeah because every because you'll you'll sit down with like your girlfriend your wife and you'll talk about yeah this guy's wife and kids or just start talking about his personal story and everything and they, they look at you like why do you know this like <laughs> i know this because he's getting to a fist fight pretty soon <laughs> yeah yeah it's that's pretty interesting. Oh, and plus i think all of us in the mma world we got a little something off in our head a little bit yeah. too a few I mean, concussions we... you know maybe, maybe <laughs> something <laughs> A little something off to enjoy this shit but yeah, it's right. fun damn right it's fun well we're probably gonna uh, end up uh, end the interview now um is there anything you want to say um anyone you want to thank any uh final thoughts before we get going um i'll go ahead i would love to thank you know uh caitlin my kids my family i love them guys and all the people training with me i appreciate everything the different gyms that are helping me out and everything get ready for this fight and bobby mm -hmm. I know you're going to be ready, man. So let's bring the fight. Let's pack the house. Let's make some, cause some fireworks. Um, let's have a great fight. Go out banging. Then maybe afterwards, go grab a beer or something. But it's going to be a good night. So everybody, watch this fight because you're going to be entertained. I promise you that. Awesome. Awesome to hear, man. It was really nice talking to you. Uh, have a good rest yeah. of your day. And we'll, we'll be speaking before April 27th. All right. Sounds good, man. Have a great day. You too. Bye.